we've got laptop from HP. Uh, I just got it today from one of my customers. Uh, looks like an old one. Yeah, looks like it had Windows 7 on it. Yeah, and the problem was the customer told me that when she turns it on, it remains in black screen, just like that. Okay, the power adapter is connected. Let me turn it on. I see the LED light. I hear the fan noise. And I just heard something, a hard drive noise from here. But the screen remains in black. Maybe the customer was not that patient. Maybe all she needed to do was waiting until she sees this resuming windows. Okay, what just happened? Okay, very strange problem here. We hear a sound from Windows 7. We can tell everything is working okay, but all of a sudden the screen is now black. Again, resuming Windows. So maybe it's a glitch of a hibernate mode glitch. Maybe. In this case, I think I would try to remove the battery and memories everything wait about five minutes and then try to install battery all the rams and i'm gonna try to turn it on again after doing that okay flip the laptop over and first thing i'm gonna remove is the battery very straightforward just pull this tab and you can remove it right away no problems there here we have one screw to remove this entire bottom cover you take this off when you need to replace hard drive memory and the Wi-Fi card oh sorry uh, not one but there's one more here so total two screws to remove this bottom cover I can just use my finger to pry this up. Yeah, the bottom cover is opened. There is your RAM and Wi-Fi card, hard drive, uh, CMOS battery. Just to show you how to remove, uh, replace memory on this machine, I'm just gonna show you. So here, there are two metal pins you pull it push it sideways to remove the memory one by one just like this that's how to remove memory from this machine i think all the machines all the laptops have the same uh, types of uh, slots for rams so there's no problem there wi-fi card you have a one and two phillips screws if you remove them, you can easily take this off from the laptop. The hard drive. Uh, I don't see any screws here. That means I can just push it back. Yeah, just push it back, like push it this way. And you can take it off, easy. And the CMOS battery, I see there's a tape right here. So first thing we we need to do is we have to take off this tape here before we remove the battery. Okay. Yeah, my gloves are too big. I need to buy a small one. Every store have no tight gloves for my hands. Okay, there's a, do you see this gold pin right here? There's a small gold, gold pin right here. Uh, push it out, and then the battery is out. That's how to remove and replace the CMOS battery. 
RAM and the hard drive on this HP Pavilion G6. Okay, let's wait a few seconds, like 10 seconds, and I'm gonna put those back and see if the problem has been resolved. All right, the laptop is now turning on and working fine, but I'm going to turn off the hibernation mode from Windows 7. So first we need to go type CMD. There's our command line, utility, do a right click, and click run as administrator click yes and type this p o w e r power c f g dot e x e i think we have to use this symbol minus symbol or something uh, hibernate space off Okay, now the hibernation mode is off, so we're not gonna see that resuming windows in the future. That means we're not gonna have the same problem again on this laptop. You can click the X and looks like we're good. This laptop is working. So try to remove all the components from your laptop, like RAMs, all the RAMs. Try to remove the CMOS battery on this laptop. And also, when you have a chance, if you have an air compressor, try to clean up the memory slots just to make sure and reinsert everything and try to turn it on again and in my case it worked so that was my solution for this HP Pavilion G6 laptop I hope that fixes your issue thank you for watching